Hello guys, this is Teaport Guides and um, this is our tutorial 4 on um, Java Associate uh, Java Tutorials. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through iteration statements. There is about 4 iteration statements within Java. Uh, these are the for loop, the enhanced for loop, the while loop and the do while loop. Um, what I'm going to be doing here today is that I'm going to go through each one, give you guys uh, a bit of explanation of what they're used for and also show you guys the general form of how they look like and maybe also give a real life example of how to actually use these and maybe even apply these um, to your code um, that you do in Java. So starting with starting with the for loop um, what the for loop is is that it, it the for loop statement is designed to iterate through code um, it has uh, main parts that include an um, initialization part an expression part and an iteration part the general usage of the for statement is as follows so it's initialization expression iteration and your code goes within here uh, the, and I've just given a, a comment saying sequence of statements so anything between here between that and this that would get executed as long as the expressions uh, expression is uh, met and uh, the iteration let me just show you guys a real life example of this okay the real life example what I've done here is I've done an int I uh, declared a int variable uh, called M and as you can see this is where our for uh, uh, loop starts from the for loop statement starts from so uh, here as I've told you guys the first part was the initialization so I've initialized M to equal one um, then what this is is our expression so I've also um, in, uh, declared the expression as M should be less than five um, so as as long as M is less than five this statement should execute it should loop and execute this um, statement uh, until is less than five and this what it does for us is every time it loops it adds a value of one um, to M um, you might be asking how would I make it not um, add a value of 1 each time it's looping but I want to add the value of 2 what you do is you do 2 that's, that's how you do it so every time it loops it would um, every time it loops it would add 2 to it okay so um, and this after um, this condition is met as in like the condition is or the M is over 5 um, then it will come out of this for loop and it would execute this line of code and these lines of codes are basically just saying print um, on the screen uh, maker then um, the value of M these two plus signs are uh, used to bring two variables or to bring things together then that it, it, you can think of it as a add thing but it's not add it's just bringing two uh, things together so you do need these um, to actually have uh, this code working without any errors so what would be printed from this would be as we start from um, zero so it would be a marker marker zero and uh, this would repeat until four until f uh, marker so it'd be it'll print all these three four and this um, then once m is four it'll come back to here it would um, iterate m to 5 and as this condition is not met now it's not true because m is 5 is not less than 5 um, 
this for loop would um, end so we'll come out of the for loop and we will print out this statement and this statement says um, last marker 5 so basically this would get printed on our on our on our system uh, now talking about the enhanced for loop let's just talk about that the enhanced for loop um, the enhanced for loop is a bit like the for loop but um, what we use the enhanced for loop is we use it to iterate through um, an array a collection which is a bit like an array or um, an object that implements the uh, interface of iterable um, so we use it to go through those type of um, elements or we can call it objects um, it's also known as um, the for each and for in loop some people call it for each and some people call it for in loop the general use of this is um, again it's straightforward it's this this is the general form of it and um, explaining each one would be what you would do is you would first need to declare a variable so you would give it a type it could be char it could be short it could be uh, float it could be anything but for this purpose um, I would say int would be the best for us to just make it easier for you guys to understand and then, then your variable you declare a variable you give it a name and then the collection so this would be either your collection name um, either your array name that you've declared uh, somewhere in your code and um, then this would be your sequence of statements so that your code whatever you want it to do would be inside this part of your uh, enhanced for loop a general form of how this looks like in real life would be this um, it's oops it's this okay so what I've done here is first I've declared an array of elements these elements and um, as we know um, arrays the first element you access it by a key of zero and then the next one after the first one would be a key of one so in total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so um, we have uh, thirteen fourteen uh, fourteen and uh, we can access these with keys from zero to thirteen so now that I've declared this here now we could put a good use to it on our enhanced for loop so what I've done I've declared a new int because we have int integer values elements within our array um, and I've made a new variable called hook and um, here I've said which array I want to use so I've said hook size which is the same as the name of our hook size array above um, this part this part oops again this part of our code is basically printing out um, whatever's in hook so it'll be printing all of this this is basically what is printed out and you might be thinking why have I done this this is just for me to just put a space after each element that is printed and this is what we use to bring things together in, in Java um, now talking about the while statement the while statement is a bit straightforward again um, the while statement and then I would quickly tell you guys about the do while the while statement is um, we use it it's basically designed to iterate through code uh, while the the while loop statement evaluates and only executes the while loop if the expression evaluates the true so um, 
you guys might be thinking, okay, what expression evaluates the true? It's it's this this expression. So our expression I could have I had let's say well m is um m is equal to five two equals otherwise we're gonna <laughs> cause an error and make it so this is the compare to see what the values if we had only one equals it will set the value of m to six so basically uh while uh, m is equal to six it should execute the code within here uh, otherwise it will never execute this while loop but w the 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 difference between the, the do while loop is that it at least um it's designed to uh, iterate through the code. Uh, it's at least once um, it would execute. Um, let me just show you guys this to just <laughs> stop getting myself a bit confused and getting you guys to f get a bit confused as well. So this, so it would execute the code within here at least once before it checks the expression. That's the difference. So this one would at least do whatever the code is inside here. It would do all that code at least once before it checks this expression. But with here, it would only it would check before doing anything inside um, this section. Um, this is it for the iteration statements with, within Java. I hope you get the, these tutorials helped you guys. Uh, thank you for listening and thank you for looking at my tutorials. Um, uh, please subscribe to my channel and thank you.